Hello everyone and welcome back to this trip report. Today I'm going to be flying on Frontier Airlines' Airbus A320neo with service from Trenton, New Jersey down to West Palm Beach in Florida. Obviously Frontier Airlines is a low-cost carrier in the United States. This is going to be my first flight on their Airbus A320neo. I've flown on their Airbus A320. It's a little bit cramped, but I'm excited to see how their Neo, their newest product, does. I know they're putting new seats on some of their newer aircraft, but this one still has the older interior, so let's see what the average person will get on a Frontier Airlines flight from Trenton Mercer Airport to West Palm Beach Airport in Florida. Frontier is currently the only airline that serves Trenton Airport, so they pretty much have the whole thing to themselves. The Frontier check-in area is large, but definitely a bit old-fashioned compared to what you'll get at most airports these days. Even though Frontier does have some automated check-in areas, they do also have a check-in area with human staff working. This is also where you can drop your bags off. It's this tiny little hallway to get down to TSA, but the TSA security is extremely quick because there's pretty much no one flying out of here. They only had three flights today, one of which was today's flight, Frontier Airlines 819 with service to Palm Beach. The gate area here in Trenton is, well, I guess old-fashioned is the only way to put it. It's really old. There is no jet bridges here, so in order to board your aircraft, you have to walk out onto the tarmac. However, as an aviation enthusiast, I find that to be quite fun. The seats here are rather uncomfortable, but I guess they work as you're not going to be waiting too long for your flight. Sooner or later, we were able to catch a glimpse of our aircraft, the only commercial aircraft in this airport, taxiing into the gate from its flight up from Miami. Today, our aircraft will be N352FR in Rio the Jaguarundi livery. It's an Airbus A320 and is one year old, being built in June of 2019. By the looks of this terminal, our flight is probably going to be nearly full because nearly every seat in this small terminal is taken and we are the only flight departing. So again, it being a really small airport, there's not many places to get food. There's a few containers with drinks and there's a couple of options for snacks, but if you are looking to get anything, I would recommend you get it here as Frontier Airlines currently has suspended all onboard services. Soon enough, it was time to line up and board our flight down to the Sunshine State. To all my fellow aviation enthusiasts watching, I invite you to enjoy the next one minute of footage as we are walking down the entire length of this Airbus A320neo down to the back. Frontier Airlines flight A19 with service to Palm Beach. As you are making your way to your seat, we can lead us to step into your road and out of the aisle to allow those customers behind you to reach their own seat. If you are traveling with a large trolley bag, please place it in the overhead bin with the wheels or handle facing outward. 
Keep in mind that overhead bins are shared space and if the bins are directly above your seat is full, you should use the next available space. If you are seated in an emergency exit road, please review the exit road responsibilities on the back of the safety information card located in the seat back in front of you. With that, welcome aboard Frontier Airlines' Airbus A320neo. The seats are rather tight in a 3-3 configuration as normal, but with only 29 inches of legroom and the seats feel very hard. The tray table is also, uh, yeah, not so good. When instructed to do so by a crew member, pull the rest strap to open the container, remove the pouch, and pull the tab to one of the side to remove the vest. Place the vest over your head. Wrap the strap around your waist and insert the end into the bubble. Pull the strap to tighten. Once outside the aircraft, pull down sharply on the red tab or blow into the red tube near your shoulder to inflate the vest. Please enjoy our very windy departure from Trenton Mercer Airport. Since there was really no service on board this flight, I kinda got bored and went to the back of the plane. The flight attendants were doing some things with their AirPods, but nothing with the passengers. So I decided to take a trip to the loo because, well, why not? Speaking about the loo, here is the loo itself. It was tight. Not as tight as the 737 MAX, but pretty tight indeed. Now, as I said before, I'm not particularly tall, I'm only 5'5", but these seats are really tight. So, now that we're turning final into West Palm Beach, let me give you my thoughts on this flight. It was cheap. We paid $337 for two people to go round trip. However, the experience was pretty bad. I mean, it was similar to flying anything like Spirit or Allegiant. You get exactly what you paid for. A seat that, yeah, the plane gets you there, but you're not going to get any luxuries. The tray table was small. There was pretty much no legroom. If you're taller, I would nearly guarantee that you have to get a seat closer to the front of the plane in one of the extra legroom rows because there were some people on this plane that purely didn't fit. Because of COVID, Frontier Airlines still has their in-flight service suspended, so hopefully we'll get that back very, very soon. But for the meantime, you really do have to bring all your things that you need to eat on board the flight, especially if you're going transcontinental. Even though I am giving somewhat of a negative review, I will say that it was probably worth the money. We paid only $337, as I said before, which is definitely a big contrast to the $550 we would have had to pay to fly someone like United or JetBlue. While definitely those airlines are better, this plane got us where we needed to go and that's really all we needed for this short hop down to Florida. So would I recommend Frontier Airlines? Yes and no. No, if the price is the same as other airlines, but if convenience and times, as well as the price works better for you, then I would definitely recommend Frontier over the other airlines. Anyway, please join me as we land here in West Palm Beach International Airport on runway 10 left. Welcome 
to West Palm. Please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened until we are parked at the gate and the captain has turned off that fastened seatbelt sign. Cell phones may now be used, however, laptop computers and other large electronics must be stowed. Once we arrive at the gate, please use caution when opening overhead bins to prevent injury from articles. So thank you everyone for coming along with me on this journey. And I look forward to seeing you on many journeys in the future. If you want to see more content just like this, please go down below and click that subscribe button. I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.